Welcome my YouTube family. Today I will demonstrate how to design an identity card template in Microsoft Publisher. Uh, basically this comes after I've received a lot of requests from those that are viewing my videos on YouTube requesting that I record how to design an, a, a template for an ID in, in Publisher. Uh, before I continue, I will request you that uh, you subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, hit that like button so that you don't miss anything, uh, especially when I upload new videos on YouTube. So first of all, I will open Microsoft Publisher. So so you follow uh, step by step. So this is Microsoft Publisher. Before you even click in anything here, you look for where it says more blank page sizes. So this is where it says more blank page sizes. So you click here. So here you go straight to where it says create new page size. Here, create new page size. So our ID will have... Um, the width of the ID should be uh, should be 8.8 .8, or you can just make it 9 so 8.8 .8 centimeters and then the height of this ID should be 5.2 you can just make it 5.5 .5 or 5.2 is just ok for this ID and then you, you just hit ok so uh, basically there is a page that has come here, it says new page. So this is a page that we've just created. So with this selected, you can hit on it, create. So the, the page is being created and this is my page here. So on this page, this is where we are going to design our ID. An ID has two faces, the front face and the, the back one. So here, this is the page number one, as you can see here on pages, this is page number one. So I'll duplicate this page so that there are two pages, the front and the back. So I'll just see, click here and then say, say insert duplicate page. So we have two pages now and this is page two that, is been, uh, that has been selected. So we, we are on page one, we are on page one. So on this page one, I'll just go to shapes here. Then I'll choose the rectangle uh, box here or the rectangle uh, shape. Then I'll draw a shape. And this is a shape that uh, I'm drawing. So with this now, I'm going to do uh, a few alterations to it with this uh, rectangle uh, shape that has, uh, I've drawn here. So I'll start with it. I'll just see. Uh, say the shape outline, I don't want uh, this shape to have any outline, so I'll say no outline. And then I want a gradient added to this shape here. I want a gradient, so what I'll do is I'll select it first, then right click on the shape, and then you choose the format auto shape. Format auto shape. And then this is going to pop up. You select only few effects. So click few effects and then this is going to pop up again. And then you just select the gradient fill. Gradient fill. But again, before you hit OK, make sure that here you do some, some, some alterations here depending on the colors that you want this gradient fill to have. So for me, this, this here, I'll, I'll give it the color. I'll give it the color blue. Yes, I'll give it the color blue and then I'll delete this other one. This one, this one I can just put it up to somewhere here. And then this side, this side, because this is the top part of the my shape. This side, I want it just to be uh, white. So I'll choose white color. I'll just choose the white color just like that. So this is uh, my... To my liking you can you can choose whichever color that you want here and then i'll just hit it okay and then with this now i'll also hit okay here see insert another shape 
I will just insert another shape here from here up to somewhere here. Yes, yeah, so again, this one, the shape view, I mean the shape outline is supposed to be no outline. As you can see, I think uh, this looks nice so far. So from here now, I can, uh, you can, you can make alterations with the colors and everything using uh, this part here. With this now, I will start inserting my, um, my pictures, the, the coat of arms and the, the, the school logo, if there is any and everything that is needed uh, on the front part of my ID. So I will just hit insert picture. So here what I'm, what, what I'm inserting is the coat of arms. So I will go direct to the folder that I've, I've, I've created for, for, for this tutorial. So this is a folder and I've, I've placed everything that is needed here. Uh, you see, this is a coat of arms for the Republic of Zambia. Then I'll just hit insert and I'll make it small. I'll make it small and place it here. Make it small and place it here. This is it, the coat of arms. And then apart from this, there is a, I'll go to insert again, insert picture. Uh, I'm now inserting the school logo and this is the school logo. So again, I'll make it small. I'll make it small like that. Then I'll just place it here. I'll, I'll place it here. Okay, so this is my, my the, the school logo. Um, maybe let me just make it a little bit bigger. Okay, like that. Okay. So with this inserted, I'll also insert uh, um, something here, my logo as a designer. I'll just insert it here. So this is my logo. It's a transparent one. So I'll just make it small and put it somewhere here. Somewhere there. Yes. So that's my logo. Again, to make it, uh, the ID look more beautiful, I will insert something that looks like a, a barcode. Something that looks like a barcode. You can simply call it a barcode anyway. So I will make it small again. I will make it smaller like this. Okay. And make sure that it is uh, centered. Make sure that it is centered and small. This will just make the ID look uh, better. So, um, having this now, what I'll do is I'll start putting the details on my ID. I'll start putting the details on my ID. And the, the first detail that I'll put is uh, simply the, the writings here. The writings here. So, I'll click on it draw text box so i'll draw the text box here and this is my text box so with this text box i'll write republic of zambia republic of zambia okay and then i can i can design it in whichever way i can give it the the the, the font that i want and everything so for me here i'll just say uh let me just choose the font here the font that i like okay okay i'll, I'll just choose this one and then i make sure that is centered make sure that the it is centered like that then text fill Text if you, I'll just put white and then the outline, I'll give it the outline. Let me, let me just try. Okay, so uh, the outline, I'll try red, red like this. Yes, so this, this looks nice. And I can make them smaller like eight. Okay, okay, like this. Then I can copy this. I can copy this, just right click, 
right click and then copy copy and then you paste it using the shortcut control v to paste and then you can edit this now to say this is ministry of mini ministry of education okay and then you can center it as well okay you can center it as well just make sure that it is correctly aligned make sure that it is correctly aligned okay so i have that then i'll put the name of the school there again i'll just paste this and then put the name of the school here let's just see for example of Maya secondary school okay again this one i'll just center it so that you have uh, a nice idea there uh, let me just move this a little bit downwards okay something like this okay so you have this beautiful design i will change something here so that the, the name of the school comes out so i will simply what i'll do is i'll simply change the the font type here or the font face you just try this one okay right so i can even change the the shape field or the text field to something a color that comes out like like so okay so you have that design and again here i'll also put uh, I've, I've just pasted that i'll i'll put identity card here identity card like that and with this just go to the text field to red and then outline i'll i'll say no outline and then i'll also change the the font type here to this and then just make sure that it is centered as well so just make sure that it is centered as well I'll, okay so like that so with this now i'm, I'm now ready to uh, put the what the the details the details like the name exam number date of birth gender grade and everything so i'll, I'll start with it uh, I'll, I'll draw another text box here just draw another text box here so this is where i'll put the name name and make sure that you align it nicely so that it comes out as well so the name will be there that's a name i'll just copy this box by using the the shortcut which is control c and then control v to paste and then i'll change the detail from name to exam number exam number like this exam number okay then again i'll align it nicely so that it it matches with the name on top okay and apart from this i'll also control v to paste and then edit this date of birth which is date of birth and again i'll align it nicely like that okay align it nicely like that date of birth so we have the date of birth there then uh, again i can uh, control v to paste again i put the gender okay so again i align this one align this one like that 
uh, apart from this I can put the grade <coughs> And if you want, you can add the year. If you want, you can add the, the year. This is grade. And the, okay. Here, or hold a signature. So you simply say, holders signature or holders sign like this and then you make a provision where the the holder will sign like that okay so again you align this one again you align this one somewhere just below here okay so this is where the holder will sign if you want you can make alterations on the the font and make sure that these are aligned nicely just make sure that these are aligned nicely this is the template that i've i've designed now from this template there's another video that you you can watch on how to put the details using mailings or mail image in publisher and this is i found the it easier to to work with publisher because of who mail image it's very easy so make sure that you watch that video as well so from here you can go to the the back of the, the of, of the what the idea again you also design it the way you want it see uh, make it look a little bit a little bit uh, fancy so with this now i'll go to shape fill shape fill here i'll go to gradient so go to gradient so again with gradient i can simply change it like this this is my liking anyway it's just my liking and the, this part I'll give it a color, let me just say, okay, like this, okay. Okay, something like that, then I hit okay, and then I don't want the, the outline, I don't want the outline, so the shape outline, I'll remove the shape outline, or I can, I can just leave it there, the shape outline, okay, okay, so, I've just reduced on the, um, the weight of the shape outline. Okay, just increase it to this. Okay, so this one looks nice. With this now, I'll just put the words here. The words that you put at the back of, of the ID and make sure that you also leave a space where the management will sign and put the what the date stamp. Okay, so this is centered like that. And then what I will insert is the date stamp here school date stamp insert pictures i've already uh designed this so this is the date stamp i'll just insert it okay so this is the date stamp i'll just make it smaller so that it fits here so this is it my id the back of the id and this is the date stamp again i'll draw a text box here text box and put the head teacher head teachers signature okay head teacher signature so this is where the head do sign and again i'll make it small i'll make this smaller okay small cups Okay, so I'll, I'll make this small, smaller like seven. Okay, I think this is nice. And I can even change the, the font color here to red if I want. And then here, just put, you can just insert a signature now. And I've already designed um, a digital signature with me. So I'll just insert it there as a head this is easier 
for you to do other than when you print them out you take the the the, the printouts to to the head and everything you just uh, get the the date stamp to be digital and then the signature for the for the head teach so it, it, it becomes easier that way if you want to learn more on how to do it just hit my my inbox i'll be ready to to help you so so this is the, the digital signature for the head teacher you can make it smaller and align it nicely like this so this is the uh the id that has been designed this is the id that has been designed if you have any queries please you are very free to hit my inbox and uh, ask if he, somewhere somehow you didn't get the point so that i clarify or i explain more please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button so that you don't miss my videos please may god bless you